when we get it, we get it in arms and we get it in the most vulnerable arms. State health officials sticking with an age-based rollout of COVID vaccines in Indiana. It feels like it's it's time. You know, they've they've gone through the older ages and it, it's time for us to to be eligible. Health officials say they are considering certain comorbidities that carry the same risk as age. That is how we are starting to add those comorbidities back in. Dr. Christina Box mentioned specific individuals, transplant recipients, certain cancer patients, people with sickle cell disease, but some Hoosiers say it still leaves a lot to be answered. They're diverging now and and we don't really know why. Valerie Coulter works in critical infrastructure and has several underlying conditions, including type 1 diabetes. She says she fears for what could happen if she gets COVID and questions how she's not eligible right now. Certain comorbidities are associated with increased risk of hospitalization, increased risk of mortality. Dr. Sean Granis of the Regan Shreve Institute says diabetes and cardiovascular disease are just a few of those. He says there should be exceptions. Meantime, he understands why the state is prioritizing the groups it is. If you look at comorbidities in the state of Indiana, it goes up, 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 up with age. Coulter says she just wants some answers on when they'll be in line. Even just a timeline would be helpful at this point. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thanks. Today, the Diabetes Leadership Council called on Governor Holcomb to prioritize type 1 diabetics in those at-risk populations. They say the CDC identifies type 2 diabetes as high risk factor for severe complications from COVID, but not type one. They say in Indiana, there are an estimated 586,000 Hoosiers with diagnosed diabetes.